how Euler found Riemann zeta of 2 and Riemann zeta of 4 using sine product formula. Let's see that in this video. Uh, for Riemann zeta of 2, it's really easy, but for Riemann zeta of 4, we need to make some manipulations and we will get it uh, this also. It's also not that tough though. Now let's begin. Uh, first of all, let's try to expand the product. How does that look? Yeah. Sine pi x by pi x. Now the product looks like 1 minus x square by 1 square. 1 minus x square by 2 square. 1 minus x square by 3 square and so on. Now let us uh, try to write uh, both of them as a series. Yeah. Now we know that the series for sine pi x will be pi x to the power 1 by 1 factorial minus pi x to the power 3 by 3 factorial plus pi x to the power 5 by 5 factorial minus uh, pi x to the power same as n factorial and goes on by pi x and over here over here okay the first term will just be 1 yeah now the second term will be minus x square and the coefficient of this term okay so for that we need to we can first multiply this two yeah and then yeah okay so what we can do for finding x square is uh, let me tell you we can we can take any one of the x square from one of the product yeah and from others take just one take one from others yeah and take x square from one of them again for the next step we can take x square from here and one from the others yeah so that's how we can get uh, the coefficients of x square so basically uh, from if it's plus x square from here we get minus 1 by 1 square from uh, this one minus 1 by 2 square minus 1 by 3 square yeah minus 1 by 4 square and so on now the next term will be x to the power 4 now how do you get the coefficient of x to the power 4 for that we can take any two of the x square terms and from other we can take the one yeah basically uh, from the others from others from others we can take the one and from two of them we can take x square yeah so for basically if we take these two we get uh, one by one square one by two square minus and minus cancels out yeah again if we take these two uh, uh, yeah and others 1 1 1 we get 1 by 1 square 1 by 3 square again if we take the first and the fourth and one from the others we get 1 by 1 square dot 1 by 4 square and similarly we get 1 by 1 square 1 by 5 square and this continues now we can also take uh, 2 square and 3 square yeah that gives us 1 by 2 square dot 1 by 3 square plus 1 by 2 square dot 1 by 4 square yeah and again 2 and 5 1 by 2 square dot 1 by 5 square yeah it goes in again uh, now we can take 3 and 4 3 and 5 3 and 6 so that gives us 1 by 3 square dot 1 by 4 square plus 1 by 3 square dot 1 by 5 square plus 1 by 3 square dot 1 by 6 square plus 1 by 3 square dot 1 by 7 square and it goes in yeah and we can like uh, repeat this process similarly now for 1 by 4 square also we can take 1 by 4 square and 1 by 5 square and continue this process 1 by 4 square dot 1 by 6 square yeah now okay and it also continues over here and also uh, in the downside also it continues yeah now this is the for x, x to the power 4 now again we have for x to the power 6 as well yeah some things we can find that again for others yeah it's also infinite series now this also has x square x to the power 4 terms now if we divide by pi, pi x uh, we will get 1 minus pi square x square by 3 factorial plus 
pi to the power 4 x to the power 4 by 5 factorial yeah, minus pi to the power 4 6 x to the power 6 by 6 factorial and it goes in yeah now we can see 1 and 1 x square x square x to the power 4 x to the power 4 x to the power 6 x to the power 6 yeah since both of them are equal the coefficients of each of the terms should also be equal so basically now if we equate the coefficients of x square from here this is just we know this is just negative of Riemann zeta of 2 yeah so we get that negative of Riemann zeta of 2 in uh, over here the coefficient of x square is minus pi square by 3 factorial yeah so that's why Riemann zeta of 2 is equals to pi square by 3 factorial equals to pi square by 6 so we found the value of Riemann zeta of 2 now uh, using this sum like making some manipulations in this sum we can get Riemann zeta of 4 yeah and uh, so basically let, let me reveal it now itself that uh, if this sum is as this we pr will prove that this sum is actually equals to Riemann zeta of 2 all square minus Riemann zeta of 4 minus s so this sum will be like this sum okay and then 2s equals to Riemann zeta of 2 square minus Riemann zeta of 4 and that's why we will get s equals to Riemann zeta of 2 all square minus Riemann zeta of 4 by 2 and if some if we simplify okay okay so we get this now uh, the value of s is known because we know that if this sum is s, if this sum over here is s, this whole sum is s, we can just see the coefficient of x to the power 4. And we see that s is actually equals to pi to the power 4 by 5 factorial is uh, 120, pi to the power 4 by 120. So we know s. We know s, we know uh, Riemann zeta of 2 whole square, we know what 2 is, and then we can solve pi to the power 4 and get it to be pi to the power 4 sorry Riemann zeta of 4 as pi to the power 4 by 90 yeah that will be our uh, solution but let us see like how do we prove this thing yeah how do we prove that this sum is actually equals to Riemann zeta of 2 whole square minus Riemann zeta of 4 minus s okay so that is our thing now now let us proceed to the other page okay now our s is uh, 1 by 1 square 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 1 square dot 3 square plus 1 by 1 square dot 4 square plus 1 by 1 square dot 1 by 5 square yeah and 1 by 2 square dot 1 by 3 square so basically uh, I can also take 1 by 1 square common that will make the life easier yeah if it is common, one is common, I will just have 1 by 2 square plus 1 by uh, 3 square plus 1 by 4 square plus 1 by 5 square and so on. Now, 1 by 2 square. Again, we, the, we just have 1 by 3 square, 1 by 4 square, 1 by 5 square, 1 by 6 square and so on. Yeah. Now, for 1 by 3 square. We have 1 by 4 square plus 1 by 5 square plus 1 by 6 square plus 1 by 7 square and so on. And same for 1 by 4 square as well, 1 by 5 square. And this goes on, it goes in, in downside as well. Yeah. Now, now like how do I how do we try to find the value is we have 1 by 1 square. We can write this as Riemann zeta of 2 minus 1 by 1 square yeah in the second as uh, plus 1 by 2 square and then Riemann zeta of 2 minus 1 by 1 square minus 1 by 2 square yeah the third as Riemann zeta of sorry 1 by first of all I have 1 by 3 square now 1 by 3 square Riemann zeta of 2 minus 1 by 1 square minus 1 by 2 square minus 1 by 3 square yeah and for the next one 1 by 4 square Riemann zeta of 2 minus 1 by 1 square minus 1 by 2 square 
minus 1 by 3 square minus 1 by 4 square. Then it continues. So, 1 by 5 square also we have the same. Remains it of 2 minus those things. Uh, it's the same. Yeah. Now, now what we can uh, do is, so basically we can group these like 1 by 1 square times Riemann zeta 2 plus 1 by 2 square times Riemann zeta 2 plus 1 by 3 square times Riemann zeta 2 plus 1 by 4 square times Riemann zeta 2. Yeah, we can group these terms and we can also make group of other terms like or we can multiply 1 by 1 square and minus 1 by 1 square. Yeah, they will give us minus 1 by 1 to the power 4. Now, 1 by 2 square times minus 1 by 2 square minus 1 by 2 to the power 4. Yeah. Again, 1 by 3 square times minus 1 by 3 square minus 1 by 3 to the power 4. 1 by 4 square times minus 1 by 4 square minus 1 by 4 to the power 4. And also, same over, same over there. Now, we see that we already have a Riemann zeta 4 over there. Now, if we write the remaining terms, yeah, if we write uh, the remaining terms, okay, so basically, we have over here 1 by 1 square times 1 by 2 square, yeah, minus over here, we have 1 by 1 square, 1 by 3 square, 1 by 1 square times 1 by 3 square. Now, I will write this a bit later. Now, okay, over here, we have minus 1 by 1 square times 1 by 4 square. Over here, uh, minus 1 by 1 square times 1 by 5 square. Yeah. And uh, continuing, since we have 2 and 3 over here, I will have minus 1 by 2 square times 2 square times 1 by 3 square. Minus over from here, 1 by 2 square, 1 by 4 square. So, one minus 1 by 2 square times 1 by 4 square. From here, minus 1 by 2 square times 1 by 5 square. And it also continues just like this. Again, from here, um, I have, okay, from here, we have minus 1 by 3 square times 1 by 4 square, yeah. So, also, we have minus 1 by 3 square times 1 by 4 square. And again, minus 1 by 3 square times 1 by 5 square. Now, do you recognize this sum? Like, it also continues. Minus 1 by 4 square times 1 by 4 is 5 square. And minus 1 by 4 square times 1 by 6 square. And minus 1 by 4 square times 1 by 7 square. Do you recognize this sum? Yes, we had this sum in the very beginning. Yeah, we did have this sum in the very beginning. Over here. Yeah, and this was named as S. Yeah, so, so now how, how we can write it is. So, basically, S is equals to, if we take Riemann zeta of 2 common from all of them, we will only have Riemann zeta of 2 again. Yeah, if we will have Riemann zeta of 2 again. Now, this is just minus Riemann zeta of 4. And all of this is just the sum. So, minus S. Yeah, that we laid in the very beginning. So, we have 2 times S equals to Riemann zeta of 2 all square minus Riemann zeta of 4. Riemann zeta of 4 equals to Riemann zeta of 2 all square minus 2s. Now we know that the s is, this s is just the coefficient of x to the power 4. And from here, coefficient of x to the power 4 is pi to the power 4 by 120. So, s is just pi to the power 4 by 120. Yeah. That's why we have Riemann zeta of 4 equals to uh, pi square by 6 whole square minus pi to the power 4 by 120 yeah yeah now let's let's subtract this we have pi to the power 4 by 36 minus pi to the power 4 by 120 let's take the lcm as 360 is that okay wait i didn't multiply by 2 over here into 2 so this is 60 now, this is 360, yeah. And this is 10 pi to the power 4 minus this is 6 pi to the power 4. That's why this is 4 pi to the power 4 by 360. And that is pi to the power 4 by 90. That's why Riemann zeta 4 is pi to the power 4 by 90. And we got both the values that Riemann zeta Two is pi square by six, and even zeta four is 
pi to the power, power, power 90 and both of our answers were correct hope you enjoyed the video hope you enjoyed the manipulation the proof the way how i did it basically the whaler is really good at making manipulations like dealing with uh, such huge series yeah the complicated stuff though it's not complicated but like to be able to see those things to be able to make those manipulations i mean between all of them those long series is quite mm, troublesome for me yeah but yeah since i knew like how it is to be done i did really do but um, without the idea that it has been already done and it's possible like uh, we might be in trouble yeah hope you enjoyed the video look forward to seeing you in the upcoming videos too thanks for watching